Good morning year one and this is your Tuesday's Maths Home Learning. I hope you're all um, feeling okay and ready for your learning today. I must admit I am so impressed with some of the work that you have been sending in. You are all working so hard and we are so proud of you. So keep up that good work. Okay then, we are carrying on then with our addition and subtraction. Today then, we are going to be having a look at subtracting within the number of 20 using number lines, okay? So our anchor for today's lesson is about counting backwards, counting backwards from the number 20, okay? You might be looking at vocabulary today, such as add, addition, total, equals, subtraction, take away, and minus. And if you are unsure, on um, what some of those um, words mean. You can maybe ask an adult in your house, or you can maybe have a Google and have a look to see what comes up um, on the internet when you type those words in, okay? So our lesson objective for today is to subtract within 20. Right, let's look at our anchor then. So our anchor is all about counting backwards from 20, okay? So you might want to pause the video right now um, have a go at counting backwards from 20. If you are feeling really, really brave, you might want to do it without the number line. If you feel like you might need a bit of help, you can look at the number line and that might give you a bit of an idea on how to count backwards. Okay, so you might want to pause the video now. If not, let's all count together. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Fantastic. I can just imagine you all um, counting backwards from 20 at home. So absolutely fantastic. Well done. Okay, then. let's start looking at today's learning then. And we are going to be subtracting single digit numbers um, within 20. So here in front of me, um, I have got some 10 frames. Now, as you can see, I've got one that is full. So that means that that 10 frame is 10, doesn't it? Okay. And we've got eight smaller um, circles on my other 10 frame. So those added together make 18 and that is the number that we are starting with down here. Can you see? 18 is the number that we are starting with. Now this num this sign here means that we're taking away, okay? We're removing them. And then we want to see, we want to have removed them, how many we are left with. So I am taking away six. I'm going to take away six of my counters, okay? So all I am going to do is I'm going to cross six of them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've crossed six of them out. I now want to find out how many I've got left, okay? So I started with 18, I've taken away my six, I now want to find out how many I have left, okay? So let's count all together. Now, I already know that this whole one is worth 10. So I'm not going to count them all out because I know that there are 10 there already. So I'm just going to count on from 10. So I've got 10, 11, 12. So my answer is going to be... 12 and I am going to write my answer in down here to show you okay fantastic let's have a look at the next one then okay now you can have a go at this one on your own before I go through it with you so if you want to pause the video have a go and then you can come back and see if you've got it correct so this is how I would do it I have 16 all together. I know I've got 10 there because my 10's frame is full and then I have another 6 making it 16 all together. Now we know that my takeaway sign is telling me that I've got to get rid. I've got to remove 7 of them. I've got to take them away, remove them completely. So again, 
I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to remove, I'm going to take away seven of them. Okay, let's count all together. I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now I want to find out for my answer what, how many I've got left. Okay, so an easy way to do it is we know that this whole frame here was 10. If I've got one less than 10, that's going to be nine, isn't it? Let's check just to make sure. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. So I'm going to write my answer in there like that. Okay, then. Let's move on to then um, a number line. Now, lots of you will have seen a number line before and used a number line in class. So now we're going to move away from the tens frames and we're going to be having a look at how we would use a number line. So my question is 17 take away 6. So I'm going to start at 17. That's the number I am going to start at. So I'm going to highlight the number I'm going to start with. Okay. I then want to take away. I'm taking away. So the number is going to become smaller. Remember when we subtract, when we take away, the number always becomes smaller because we're taking away from it, removing from it. So I'm going to take away six. Okay. So I need to do six jumps to take away six from my 17. Are you ready? And we're all going to count together. So I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And as you can see, I end up at 11. So we now know that 17 take away six equals, let's write it in, equals 11. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. The next one then, you can pause the video and have a go on your own. And then you can come back to it and to see if you've got the answer correct. So we are going to start on 18. So I'm going to highlight 18, first of all, and I'm taking away nine. I'm removing nine from my 18. Okay. So I'm going to do my jumps again and I'm going to take away nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. And then we end up on nine. So now we know that 18 take away nine equals nine. Brilliant. Okay. Right then, let's have a look at my next question then. Now this one is slightly different because this one's a word problem. So all we're going to find all of our um, problems within the words, okay, which can be slightly trickier, but we're going to have a look. Now it says, Ron has 14 plums. He eats six. How many plums does Ron have left? So I'm going to start by writing out my subtraction problem, okay? So we know that all together, Ron has 14 plums, okay? He eats six of them. So if he eats them, they are being taken away, aren't they? They're not they're no longer going to be there if he eats them. So we're going to take away six of them. And then we want to find out how many Ron has left. So just like we did before, we're going to start at my 14 on my number line, which is there, and we're going to take away six of them. Okay, we're going to take away six of them. So let's have a look. So let's take away one, two, three, four, five, six, and we end up on eight. So our answer is eight and then we can write eight into our problem fantastic okay the next one then 
It's very, very similar, and you're going to have a go all on your own. So if you pause the video, you can have a go at the question and then come back to me when you have finished to see if you've got it correct. So, Lauren has 13 buttons in her sewing box. She sews six buttons on her shirt. How many buttons does Lauren have left? Well, Lauren has started with 13 buttons. Okay, that's her starting number. That's what she's got all together. Okay, she sews six buttons onto her shirt. So she's taking six buttons from her sewing box and putting them onto her shirt. So she's taking six of them away. So that is going to be my sum. 13, take away six equals. Let's have a look then. So just as we did before, we're going to start on 13 and we are going to take away six. Okay, counting all together. One, two, three, four, five and six. And we end up on seven. So my answer is going to be seven buttons left. Okay. Right then, let's have a look here then. This is finding the difference. So this is taking our learning slightly deeper, okay? So it says, Sam counted 16 birds, some flew away, and now he has nine birds. How many birds flew away? Now I'm going to use my number line for this, okay? My number line is down here. Now we know that he started, he counted 16 birds, okay? So I'm going to highlight my number 16. He started with 16. He's only got nine birds left, okay? So we know that he's still got nine birds. We need to find out then what the difference is between my nine and my 16. Okay, so we're going to count the jumps to see how many is in between, to see the difference. So let's count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we now know that seven birds flew away. Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to let you have a go at the next one on your own. If you pause the video, you'll be able to have a go and then you can come back to find out if you have got the correct answer. Okay then, it says, Sam counted 15 birds, some flew away and now there are seven birds. How many birds flew away? So, at the start, Sam counted 15 birds, didn't he? Okay, so I'm going to highlight 15, he counted 15 birds. When some had flown away, he counted that there were seven birds left. So we need to find the difference between the number seven and the number 15. So I'm going to count the jumps between those two numbers. Let's count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we now know that eight birds away. And just remember, if it is a word problem, you will need to answer your question using the words, okay? Right then, our last question that we're going to do all together before you um, go off and have a go at some of the questions on your own. Okay then, so it says match the pair of cards that have a difference of five. So we've got to have a look at which numbers together have a difference of five. So I'm first of all going to choose one of the numbers, any number, I'm going to choose seven. And I'm going to start by looking at my number seven. Now I know that the difference is going to be five. So I'm going to count on five to see which number I get. So one, two, three, four, five. And the number that I come up with is 12. Is 12 on my list? Yes, it is. So I am going to draw a line from 7 to 12. Now I've only got two numbers left, so those two numbers much match to, must match together. But just to make sure, I am going to have a look. So I'm going to erase what we've just done and start again. 
So I've got 9 here, so I'm going to start at 9. I know my difference has got to be 5 because it says 5. So I'm going to count on 5 to see if what number I get to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I end up at 14 and it is the other number that I have left. So those match up together. Thank you so much for listening. It is now your um, chance to have a go at some of the questions. So if you, everybody is to start on bronze and then you can work your way through the questions. If you find bronze really, really easy, you might want to do five of them or six of them and then move on to silver. If you find silver really easy, you, you can then move on to gold. Thank you ever so much, Year One. It's been an absolute pleasure um, looking at maths with you today and I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.